Hello everyone, back to, the to today's second video, doing an Ensembles Watch for today's second video. So we're going to go through all 20 plus members of the GFS Ensemble, see what they're showing. Uh, going into the second half of January, January we're going to start on the 18th of January. Uh, we'll have a look at the Operation Run first, we'll then have a look at all the um, GFS Ensemble members. And then, <coughs> excuse me, we will have a look at the Parallel uh, GFS Run. So, um... The first video released early on today is here on the homepage. Just scroll down and you'll find it above Snow Desk. And uh, that's what we're talking about whether next week's 10 days. Um, and we're still going to split between the long range output and the short range output. The long range output wants to produce northern blocking. CFSB2 is showing northern blocking as going to the last stages of January, which are some very cold weather for the UK. <coughs> Excuse me again. While many uh, sort of um, shorter range models, a little less sure about it. Um, so some of them, yes, they do uh, hint at uh, some colder northwesterly episodes and uh, sort of cold zonality, that kind of thing. But they aren't really showing, uh, they weren't really showing northern blocking. So we're going to go through the GFS ensemble, see how many members of the GFS ensembles are producing northern blocking as we go into the uh, sort of final week or so, or the last week, 10 days of um, January. Uh, so I'll go with that for you uh, right now at westcentral.d. I'm going to start off with the operational uh, GFS run. So we begin on Friday the 18th of uh, January with the operational midday GFS run. I've got low pressure to the north of Scotland, got high pressure down to the south of the country. We are building a little bit of a ridge up to the northwestern part of the country as we run through. We find cold air sort of digs down across the country with northerly winds there as you know, it's Saturday, uh, the 19th and Sunday, the 20th. But we build a ridge over the country then. Quite cold air. Very cold air is moving down through Scandinavia and northern Europe. So we're just on the edges of uh, really cold air. And in the extend range, we start to build up high pressure over Scandinavia. So it does have a go at building a Scandinavian high. But the Atlantic remaining very, very active. We bring this area of low pressure in from the northwest Atlantic. That's bringing heavy rain. Quite cold northwesterly winds. So there will be some snow potential uh, with that as well on the 24th of January. That's really close to uh, building high pressure over Scandinavia there on the 24th of January. Really cold air sitting over Scandinavia and a weak Scandinavian high. But in the Atlantic, it's just not letting that high pressure build over Scandinavia properly. Still got high pressure to the west of Portugal. Need to get that out towards Bermuda. And we've still got uh, a lot of low pressure around Greenland and Iceland. So still no genuine northern blocking there. That's how we finish up with the operational GFS run tonight on the 26th of January. Still westerly, but uh, with very cold air poised just to our east, waiting uh, to the east for the Atlantic to ease off the accelerator and uh, waiting for its moment to strike. So uh, we finish up a little bit poised uh, there. Right, so let's go and have a look at the ensemble. So we'll start off with the control uh, GFS run. So this is run at a slightly lower resolution to uh, to the operational, but at a higher resolution to all other ensemble members. This is how it looks on the uh, 18th of January. An area of low pressure right over the top of the country. Uh, this one brings out some quite, quite chilly air from the northwest of time before it turns stormy uh, on up to the 24th of uh, January. Deep area of low pressure to the north of Scotland, very stormy and very westerly, and quite cold as well, uh, with the wind coming in from the northern Atlantic. We finish up with low pressure out to the west of Scotland, so still driving in Atlantic winds, wet, windy, and quite cold. That's how ensemble member number one is looking. It's building a ridge of high pressure up through the middle of the Atlantic, trying to send it up towards Greenland. That's what we're looking for, really, a Greenland high or a northern blocking feature. So ensemble member number one is putting down a really cold, northerly wind on Saturday the 19th of uh, January. That looks very cold, very wintry indeed, ensemble member number one. It gets colder as low pressure develops to the south of the country with its high pressure still around Greenland and Iceland. This will be threatening heavy snow, uh, persistent snow and heavy snow across southern parts of the country. Look at that, really cold and snowy there of ensemble member number one and masses of northern blocking around Greenland as well. That looks completely different to the operational and controlled GFS. It will be very wintry, prolonged cold spell setting up with ensemble member number one and masses of uh, northern blocking too. Ensemble member number two, 
uh, shows low pressure to the north of Scotland, high pressure to the south west of the country on the 18th of January as we run through. We find that, again, we're building some ridging in the middle of the Atlantic, pushing these areas of low pressure across the country. So they're pulling down colder air from the north. Nowhere near as cold as ensemble member number one. But it does turn pretty cold there, I think, uh, uh, through that uh, period from the 18th. The 26th of January, some colder air is digging in from uh, the north. Not a genuine blocking feature around Greenland, though. Some of them number three with high pressure out to the west of the country on the 18th of January. And uh, this one is building up high pressure to the north as well. So there we go. We're uh, a little bit beyond day 10 uh, to 21st of January. Have got some high pressure around Greenland, Iceland. The trough is sinking through Scandinavian central parts of Europe. So we are putting down very cold and potentially snowy northeast winds. In the extended range, we build high pressure into the country. That will bring frosty conditions before we finish up returning to a bit of a westerly by the 26th of January. That does have some cold and snowy conditions involved in it. This is ensemble member number four with high pressure around uh, Greenland and Iceland, low pressure over Scandinavia and we're pulling down a cold northerly wind here. It doesn't really produce a northern blocking feature though. So we find westerly winds start to uh, come back in quite quickly. Turns rather unsettled, rather stormy, quite cold. These areas of low pressure are digging in from the northern Atlantic. That's how we finish up with ensemble member number four. Low pressure to the north of Scotland, quite wet and windy and fairly cold. Ensemble member number five has a bit of a ridge across Iceland uh, on the 18th of January of low pressure over the top of the UK. What's this one going to do? It's going to move that low pressure to the south, but then it backs the wind in to the west. So again, we go through this quite cold, stormy period, unsettled period. There would be some snow potential in with that, particularly through northern parts of the country. Finishing up with a major area of low pressure to the northwest of Scotland uh, by 26th of January. Low pressures over top of the country. Little bit of high pressures building across Greenland and Iceland, but not a genuine uh, blocking feature. Ensemble member number six has high pressure out to the west of the country. Uh, as we go into the uh, period of the 18th of January. Uh, then we move this low pressure down across the country there around the uh, 21st. That's moving away. And then high pressure builds in across the country. or just stays to the west of us. So we finish up looking a little bit complicated. Got high pressure in the Atlantic. It's reaching through the UK. And it's trying to get up towards Scandinavia as well. That one looks like it's poised to possibly produce a very cold spell of weather just beyond that uh, 384 hour period. Ensemble member number seven, low pressure is dominating on the 18th of January. Looks really wet and windy across the country. That low pressure pushes through uh, as we get to day 10, so the 25th of January, and we start to build high pressure on its backside around Iceland. So you pull down a cold northerly wind. Looks a little bit temporary though, although again, the jet stream and the low pressures are aligned northwest to southeast, so cold air is still being pulled down with those areas of low pressure cold and unsettled basically and that's how we finish up on the 26th of January a little bit of high pressure is building across Greenland and Iceland. It's not genuine northern blocking, but it is enough to be, be producing uh, quite a cold and settled spell of a jet stream to the south of the country. Ensemble member uh, number eight looks very unsettled on the 18th of January with low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic. This one's producing a mid-Atlantic ridge there and trying to get it up towards Greenland. So this one's turning cold and wintry as we go up to 24th of January. We've got low pressure just off the coast of East Sand. You're putting down cold north or northeast winds up would bring a, a risk of heavy snow uh, and cold winds as well and then we get through to the end of ensemble member number eight we're starting to return to west it is all big with a suddenly tracking jet stream so cold zonality ensemble member number nine with uh, a ridge across the country so very different even as early as 192 hours 18th of January. This has a ridge across the country, albeit it's quite weak and it's quite flimsy. Then we get low pressure diving down the North Sea in towards Denmark with a ridge trying to build to the north of it, so trying to get a little bit of northern block. That is putting down a cold northerly wind. Then this low pressure dives southwards across the UK, uh, so that's pulling down cold air from the north and from the east. That's how we finish up on some of them number nine. Cold with Cold east or northeasterly winds and wintry. There's high pressure building through the northern Atlantic towards Iceland. Cold northeasterly winds, and that would be driving in snow to eastern parts of the country. 
Ensemble member number 10 has a Sinner Northerly Wind on the 18th of January. So, again, very different solution. Before that, very quickly backs to a westerly, albeit we're into cold zonality, low pressure within cold air, bringing rain or perhaps snow, particularly snow over hills and mountains in the north. Running into the more extended rain, so keeping things unsettled, keeping these low pressures driving in across the Atlantic. Heights are trying to rise across Scandinavia to the north of the country, but that one keeps things generally westerly. This is ensemble member number 11, a deep area of low pressures over the top of the country uh, on the uh, 18th of January. High pressures building up around Greenland. This one is going to produce cold conditions. It's going to pull in easterly winds with a Greenland high. So this is in line with ensemble member number one. These two are much colder ensemble members and wintry with a risk of snow. Ensemble member number 11 is a much colder ensemble member. This is number 12 with high pressure bridging in from the southwest keeping the wings in from the west with this particular ensemble member no particularly cold weather at all just quite unsettled uh, as we go through to the final sort of days of this uh, run to the 26th of January high pressure is bridging in from the west but that one is a milder one ensemble member number 13 with high pressure out to west pulling down a cold northerly wind at least temporarily and then low pressure again diving through the country uh, just there around the 20th 21st of January uh, and these areas of low pressure are on increasingly southerly track so we finish up looking pretty cold and wintry low pressure to the south of us the jet streams well to the south we are putting down some cold air from the north and um, from the east that's an increasingly cold and wintry ensemble member number 13 Ensemble member number 14 with high pressure to the north and low pressure to the southwest uh, on the 18th of January. And as we run through, we find that we build high pressure close to the south of the country as we get towards day 10. So, yeah, this was a little bit different with its scenario compared to anything else that we've seen. I mean, low pressure starts di uh, driving in from off the Atlantic. That's how we finish up. Still westerly, but pulling down quite cold air from the northwest. Uh, this is ensemble member number 15 with high pressure to the north around Iceland, low pressure, deep area of low pressure is across England and Wales. That could be bringing snow uh, to some parts of the UK, particularly northern areas on the 18th of January. That low pressure clears away and we build a ridge within cold air, so that's pretty cold and frosty conditions. Running to more extended range, low pressure continues around the UK. Notice high pressure is building up across Greenland though. We're finishing up very blocked. We've got high pressure over Scandinavia and high pressure over Greenland. That's just, that looks like it's setting up a prolonged cold pattern by the 26th of January. This area of low pressure, you would expect that to sink southwards and uh, we go to a very blocked, very cold blocked pattern. Ensemble member number 16 has us in a northerly wind with no low pressure in the North Sea uh, on the 18th of January, a week tomorrow. And then we bring more low pressure in from off the Atlantic again. That could bring snow, that area of low pressure, because it's coming into cold air, has cold air following it. So that's rain or snow. You'd have to look at the parameters within the atmosphere at the time. Then we get another one of these diving areas of low pressure on the 22nd of January. Uh, and again, that could bring rain or snow, particularly to northern and eastern parts of the country. Uh, going in towards the end of this ensemble member, you see heights are beginning to rise up towards Greenland, low pressure to the east of Scotland, starting to threaten a very cold northerly wind. Ensemble member number 17 with a ridge, a uh, very weak ridge over the country on the 18th of January. So many different options for as early as the 18th of January, quite remarkable. And then that low pressure, day 10, is moving through the UK, putting down a cold northeasterly wind, and then we build high pressure behind it in cold air, so that bring a lot of frosty, dry conditions. And then we finish up trying to return back to Wesley, but heights are rising to the east and northeast of the country. This ensemble member number 18, this one looks very cold, just to our east northeast with low pressure out to west of the country on the 18th of January. What's going to happen with this one? So low pressure dries in off the Atlantic, but it is on a northwest southeast alignment. So again, these areas of low pressure could bring rain or snow to normal east parts of the country. That's how we finish up uh, on the 26th of January of high pressure over Scandinavia very very close to starting to pull in a very cold easterly wind 
ensemble member number 19, high pressure free the country, uh, Richie, <coughs> excuse me, Richie free the country on the 18th of January, that uh, high pressure then going up towards Scandinavia with low pressure being blocked in the Atlantic that, that looks like it's a real snow event there on the 22nd of January we've got high pressure over Scandinavia feeding in a cold southeasterly wind across much of northern Europe for these areas of low pressure trying to move in from the Atlantic, so as those low pressure coming up against the cold air, you expect quite a widespread snow no event uh, with that and the cold air is winning the battle here that low pressure is moving away to our south that's how we finish up looking blocked we've got high pressure around greenland and iceland low pressure sinking southwards the winds are in from the east that's cold blocked conditions for the end of january and there would be there's a major snow event there leading up to that and then we finish up with uh cold easterly winds with ensemble member number 19 ensemble member number 20 Finally, has low pressure to the north of Scotland uh, on the 18th of January, bringing in these westerly winds as we go through. That low pressure clears away, and then we build a ridge across the country being quite cold air. That then gets flattened off, and we finish up on some of the 20 going into a milder westerly flow. That one doesn't do anything particularly cold. The last thing I can show you is the parallel run, and we can only get to 216 hours with that, so uh, that's how it looks at 216 hours with with the parallel GFS run. It's very slow updating at the moment. And uh, for a few days this week, it hasn't updated at all, actually, for some reason. But it has started updating, but it's really slow uh, doing that. So I can't show you any more of the parallel run. Let's just see if the graph has updated for the uh, GFS ensemble. So we'll go to uh, there. And yes, it has. This is looking at Bartsville, because that's the last place that we looked at in today's first video update. And you'll notice quite a cold trend here as we get into the middle of the month. That's the 15th of January just there. We're around average. Remember, the red line is the 30-year temperature average. So, mild and average for the next few days. Going to around average through the start of next week. I mean, definitely a cooling trend. Becoming cold. I think we can say that through the course of next week. Coming increasingly cold. Still not many ensemble members going into the freezer. But if we go into the freezer, we'll go down to, to between minus 10 and minus 15 at 850 HPA. There aren't many ensemble members doing that. But most of these ensemble members are going cold. And they are going cold enough for snow as well as those areas of low pressure coming from uh, the Atlantic on a northwest southeast alignment. So quite interesting. It looks like we're going into a spell of cold, increasingly cold, sort of um, northwesterly, southeasterly areas of low pressure and the jet stream aligned south, uh, northwest to southeast, which allows for cold air to move in from the northern Atlantic. Um, and if you remember back to last December, it's that kind of pattern that we had last December when we had a few snow events, had a few transient sort of cold appearance, but it didn't get very cold. The very cold weather last winter happened at the end of February. Very cold air is lurking on all of these ensemble members. It's lurking to our east and to our northeast. Not many of these ensemble members bring that through to us, but there is a small chance, there is a minority option that we build up a big ridge blocking feature over Greenland or Scandinavia or both, and they will then allow very, very cold air, freezer type cold air to hit us. Um, so at the moment, I think we're going to be focusing on the cold zonality uh, situation through the course of next week, where it will almost certainly get cold enough for snow in the north, possibly at times even down in the south. Could be a few surprises coming up in the second half of next week. And then we get to the final week of January, and let's wait and see, will we build up uh, a block, a northern block, somewhere around Greenland or Scandinavia. That is still to be determined. But it certainly looks like the second half of January is going to be a lot more active and also quite a lot colder than the first half. So buckle up. It's about to start getting interesting, I think. Right, JMA Friday tomorrow and a look at weather next week, same days as well. So come back both for tomorrow's videos. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.